We want to understand how life works at the molecular level. Life starts with atoms and it builds up from there. Small proteins form larger aggregates, form organelles, virus capsids. We need supercomputers because of the size of these structures. But what we fundamentally want to do is understand what the mechanical properties are, how the machines of life actually work. And that can be viruses, that can be light harvesting. Uh, and we're looking forward to actually understanding how the synapses in the brain function at a molecular level at atomic resolution. So I develop a program called NAMDI, which does molecular dynamic simulations for these very large, uh, by simulation standards, biomolecular simulations on uh, everything from laptops and desktops, GPU accelerated, all up to the largest supercomputers in the United States and the world. I work with a group of scientists, physicists, chemists, who are actually conducting the simulations. We also develop visualization software, VMD, and then the scientists themselves are collaborating with another layer of experimental groups who are doing X-ray crystallography, uh, cryo-electron microscopy to understand the structures of these, of these molecules, and then conducting experiments to actually probe them and understand what their behavior is, and then we try to work with them to explain that behavior at an atomic resolution. We use basically every high performance class of GPU from the GTX class to the Tesla GPUs on the supercomputers. Uh, the benefit that we get from that is performance. So comparing, for example, the Blue Waters machine at Illinois, which has some GPU accelerated nodes, some non-GPU accelerated nodes, even trading off one of the CPUs for a GPU, we get a factor of three higher performance on the GPU accelerated nodes. That carries on to the type machine at Oak Ridge National Lab. So we're able to do more science with an equivalent amount of resources thanks to the GPUs. Again, what we're trying to do is explain at an atomic level how these molecules work. The experimental groups can tell you what the structure is. They can occasionally see different states that the molecule might be in, they can see the effects, they can't see the detailed mechanisms. So we can really explain you know, how does a virus capsid function, how does light harvesting happen at, at a molecular level, and that can inform experiments and hopefully lead to treatments for diseases, more efficient uh, light harvesting for you know, photosynthesis.